Good morning. Namaskar. Many new faces also today in the class. Very good to see that. And uh, I have heard that there are many new faces uh, among the people who are sitting at home also. Very nice. So the as I expected, the batch is growing. And you will be able to make more friends as this grows further. Okay. So, आज हम शुरुआत करने वाले हैं एक स्टोरी के साथ दिस गोइंग टू बी अ स्टोरी एंड दिस स्टोरी विल बी अ नाइस फिटिंग कंक्लूजन टू व्हाट वी विल कल की बात जो भी हो रही थी ना उसका जो लास्ट पॉइंट था वहीं से पकड़ के हम फिनिश करते हैं एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू मूव क्लोजर टू आर सिलेबस एंड एग्जामिनेशन टूडे तो मूविंग closer to that conclusion and we eventually want to start economics as well uska bhi dhyan rakhna padega so okay so the point being that uh, many many years ago in tibet टिबेट में हुआ ये सब कुछ बिकॉज देर आर सम न्यू फेसेस टूडे इन द क्लास एंड देर आर सम न्यू वंस एट होम जस्ट एक पॉइंट आपको बताता हूँ कहाँ पे हमने कंक्लूड किया था प्रीवियस लेक्चर प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई वॉज टेलिंग ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स दैट यू हैव टू स्टे फोकस्ड एंड देन यू कैन क्लियर दिस एग्जामिनेशन इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट स्टे फोकस्ड तो ये स्टे फोकस्ड कॉन्सेप्ट क्या होती है सो देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ स्टोरी ऑन दैट and at the end of the story there will be a question so this is going to be the first time i am asking you a question in this batch so the story is look like this it happened way back in tibet that two monks monks jo hote hain na matlab buddhism mein jaise priest hote hain wo yes yes sadhu sant jaise hum kehte hain two monks were given a task by their the head of the monastery monastery temple jaisa hota hai wo तो टेंपल के या मोनेस्ट के जो हेड थे उन्होंने एक काम दिया था उनको कोई कागज की फाइल थी एंड द हेड सेड दैट दिस दिस फाइल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेक इट एंड यू हैव टू हैंड इट ओवर टू द हेड ऑफ अनदर मोनेस्ट्री तो तुम लोग आज ट्रैवल करके वहां पे जाओ और उनको ये फाइल दे दो बहुत जरूरी कागजात है इधर का उधर एक कागज भी नहीं होना चाहिए जैसे लोके The task was difficult because from this monastery to that, there was no tar road. That means they would have to go trekking through the foothills of Himalayas, and the distance was also not small, like five or six kilometers. They would have to walk about sixty to seventy kilometers. अब ये दोनों मांग जो थे उनमें से एक जो जो थे जरा मिडिल एज से भी आगे थे, so in his early fifties, and the other one was his disciple. चेला चेला था वो ही वॉज हार्डली ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड सो ऑब्वियसली द ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड हैड नो प्रॉब्लम वॉकिंग सिक्सटी सेवेंटी किलोमीटर्स थ्रू द हिमालयन फुट हिल्स एंड द सीनियर वन द गुरु इवन ही डिड नॉट हैव अ प्रॉब्लम ये योगा वगैरह करते हैं बहुत फिट रहते हैं ना वो खाना पीना बहुत अच्छी तरीके से न्यूट्रीचर्स होता है सो दे जैसे येस इज विल डू दिस सो दे टुक अ सैक इन विच दे पुट द फाइल बॉटल ऑफ वाटर and one thermos flask in which they took two cups of tea raste mein chai peene ke liye aur nikle foothills of himalayas trekking karte karte ja rahe after about 8 to 10 kilometers <coughs> they came to a chasm chasm matlab ek aisi ek situation hoti hai mountains mein aksar aati hai where the two mountains come close but they do not meet and there's a deep fall inside to idhar se udhar jaane ke liye aapko chhalang lagani padti hai but you have to be careful because if you don't jump carefully and if you fall in the middle in that gap to fir allah ko pyare ho gaye aap so you have to be careful so they came to a chasm at that chasm the the disciple had absolutely no problem fit fellow casually he jumped to the other side वो जो गैप था ना वो ऐसा ट्रिकी था दैट इफ यू आर फिट यू कैन जम्प अदरवाइज यू वुड बी स्कैन ऐसा डिस्टेंस था वो सो द गुरु केम देर बट ही वॉज ऑल्सो सो कॉन्फिडेंट ही कैजुअली जम्प टू द अदर साइड 
and they started their journey again. They had taken hardly 10 steps, 10, 20 steps, when a lady said from behind, please can you help me? I also have to go to the other side, it's very important, but I can't jump. I'm scared. I'm scared, I can't do this, you can help Now both of them first of all stood where they were, because in that monastery they had some strict rules and regulations for all the monks. Buddha or Javan, all the monks had to follow those rules. So, there was rule tha unka, that they were not allowed to interact with girls or women. They were not allowed to have girlfriends. They were not allowed to marry. And the girls in the class may ask, Sir, aisa kyun? And then I will have to tell you that the story says that it's, in fact it's one of the biggest compliment to the girls. The monastery believed that the girls are the biggest distraction to the boys. Kya sahi hai ya galat hai? <laughs> okay, you are still feeling a little shy to answer that one. But I am sure the boys in the class are saying absolutely correct. If girls bohut sari aa jati hai kahi se to bas phir dhyan nahi rehta. Rasta cross karte hai vakt bhi. Kaan dekhte ho malum nahi hai. Actually, the girls will also agree with me because it's a clear-cut compliment to their gender. Ki wo itni sundar hoti hai. That is the compliment. When they talk, when they smile, when they're just walking by, they are such a beautiful gender that the male has no option. He just immediately starts to look there. <laughs> so that's why the monastery had decided that the monks cannot interact. They can't talk to the women also. So the head of the monastery had told them that suppose you are looking that side and a woman comes in between, you are supposed to look the other way. So strict. Now this lady was asking them in the story that can you help me? So the disciple was very clear about rules and regulations. He stood there and he just waved with his hand that we cannot help you because he cannot even see, look at the girl. The guru, the, disciple, the, the elderly one, he turned around. He turned around and he looked and you know what he saw? He saw a girl there standing, hardly 20 years old and she looked so beautiful. She, she looked better than Katrina Kaif also. Matlab, such a Katrina Kaif is so beautiful in Bollywood. Do you believe or not? No, you disagree I think. I believe. Katrina Kaif, the best looking actress of the Hindi film industry. Wo kuch bhi nahi uske samne. Itni sundar. So the guru asked, how can I help you? And she said, I am scared to jump. Can you at least give me some tips so that I can jump? So he said, okay. I will tell you do this and do that and then you take a start and then you jump. Ye sab usko bataya. And she tried. She tried twice, thrice. But the moment she came towards the chasm, she would get really afraid of jumping and she would not jump. Guru ko pata chala ki agar isne sachmuch mein chalang lage na to beech mein girne wali hai. And if she falls in the middle, the fall was going to be more than 500 meters. Matlab tukde bhi nahi milenge. Thik tarikhe se. So he said, wo rule jo bhi ho. Buddhism ka ek rule hota hai and that is to help others all the time. You are supposed to be selfless according to Prince Gautam Buddha himself. And he showed it in his life also. That you are supposed to be selfless. Dusro ke liye kuch kaam karo. So he said, okay, I have to follow that rule in this case. So the guru, he jumped back to this side. He said, okay, what I'll do is, I'll actually lift you up and jump on that side. And then she said, okay. So he picked her up. Aise. Hindi movie mein wo Shah Rukh Khan end mein jaise heroin ko uthate hai na aise. He picked her up. He jumped to the other side. Hello. Okay. 
we jump to the other side get spread down then we get to the other side okay thank you and Sound check. Sound check. Hello, 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 just those who are sitting at home, just give us a moment. There's some trouble with the microphone, okay, okay. So, what happened was that uh, this girl she started her journey. And then uh, the Guru, he joined the disciple and they started their journey. But now the disciple had a problem. Kaisa problem? When this whole incident started to occur, his curiosity took the better of him. And he had also seen that my Guru is rule. He is talking to that girl. Then he goes to the other side, picks her up. Tohin ho gai hai toh, tohin. Aisa laga unko. So that entire scene was playing and replaying in his mind. Repeatedly. Chal rahe te wo. Guru jo chal rahe te unke saath, wo bhi chal rahe te. Lekin dimag mein wo scene baar baar ghoom raha hai. After about 10 more kilometers, they decided that chalo. बैठते हैं थोड़ी चाय पीने के लिए, सो एक बड़ी चट्टान थी वहाँ पे बैठ गए, थर्मोस लेके आ गए थे ना चाय था उसमें वो दो कप चाय मस्त एकदम पोर कर लिया चाय पी रहे थे, गुरु बहुत चालाक होते हैं, गुरु जो होते हैं ना, उन्होंने सिर्फ चेले का सिर्फ चेहरा देखा तो भी पता चल जाता है so the disciple said, ha, problem to hai. Main directly pooch loo He said, I am the guru, of course you can ask me any question. So the disciple said that I am really disturbed because how could you break a rule and go through that incident some time back? Ab guru ki reaction dekhi ha, do second ke liye to unko wo incident yaadi nahi aara tha. His memory was great, no problem. But just that incident he had forgotten. So after a few seconds he was scratching his beard and he was saying, Konsi girl? And then he suddenly remembered the incident. He said, oh, that lady whom I helped. Then he gave a long speech. Original story is in that long speech. It's a long answer. I'm telling you a little bit. He said that, look, I may have broken that rule that we are not supposed to interact with the girls. But I have followed the rule where the Buddhists are supposed to help people out. People, especially people in distress. वो अच्छा काम किया है मैंने। फिर भी मेरे भी गुरु होते हैं, उनसे मैं पूछ लूँगा और अगर मैंने पाप किया है, तो उसका प्राइस चित्त भी होगा, जरूर होगा और मैं करूँगा। So that answer actually satisfied the boy, the disciple. And then the guru said something 
at the end of his speech which i am saying today to you ek tarike se dekha jaye to main bhi to is class mein guru hi to hu to main aapko yahi keh raha hu listen to what he said because there is a question based on this story you have to answer the guru said at the end of the story to his disciple look my dear fellow i know i helped that girl and i spoke to her and then i jumped with her and all of that you said but after that girl left since then she is not with me but she is still with you and that's where the story ends ki wo ladki ab mere sath to hai nahi tumhare sath abhi bhi hai now the question here is according to you what is the moral of this story marathi madhe apan manto hitachi gosht hit kay what is the moral of the story yes your answer first stay in the present yes that could be one of the morals correct or or ek bhi hai important one what is the moral of the story according to you पिछली बातों का बर्डन लेके आगे नहीं बढ़ना चाहिए ये भी मॉरल इसमें से निकल सकता है ये स्टोरी ऐसी है कि अलग अलग लोगों को अलग अलग मॉरल निकल सकता है बट द मेन द वन द राइटर इंटेंस टू पास ऑन द मैसेज वो क्या है correct that is the moral of the story and i'll repeat it for all of you the main moral of the story is that distractions will come in life but you are supposed to ignore them learn to ignore them har ek distraction ko aap bam laga ke uda nahi sakte ya kai sare distractions aise hote hai ki just aisa push de diya to jeevan se bahar gaya aisa nahi hoga wo distraction wahi rahega you learn you should learn to ignore that because once you choose a goal and you focus on that goal then you are supposed to stay focused that's the message to guru or disciple jo the unme wo farak pad raha tha the guru was so focused on the goal ki wo jo file hai usme important kagzad hai wo mujhe wahan tak pahunchana hai ye itna ahem tha unke liye ki dusra kuch unke dimag mein aa hi nahi raha tha but in case of the disciple he was completely distracted because of that incident so how you become a chartered accountant with a smile on your face in, with a smile on your lips very simple to understand that stay focused maine kab ka ki distractions nahi aayenge main to keh raha hu aajkal to distractions zyada aate hain pehle se bhi when i was in college there was no netflix hotstar nahi tha tab aaj hai back then we did not have facebook or insta or twitter to disturb us today it is there it's available to you nahi nahi ye sari suvidha achhi bhi hoti hai hamare entertainment ke liye communication ke liye information ke liye achhi hoti hai but they also have another side to it and that is that they are distractions multiplexes are distractions live matches on tv can be distractions are just a friend of yours who is not doing ca can be a distraction jo ca nahi kar raha वो बार बार आके बताएगा आपको अब चल नहीं इधर खड़क वासला जाते हैं टीपी करते हैं चल अब सिंहगढ़ जाते हैं ट्रैकिंग करते हैं ही इज नॉट डूइंग चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंसी तो ही डजेंट हैव टू स्पेंड सो मच टाइम विद द बुक्स एंड द स्टडीज नहीं आप में से कई लोग पूछते हो ना कि सर इतने सारे लोग सीए के एग्जाम ट्राई करते हैं सब पास क्यों नहीं होते मे बी दैट्स द आंसर maybe that's the answer that so many people they attempt the examination but many of them are not able to stay focused are do ya teen din ke liye 4 ghante ke liye focus rehna aasan hai aasan hai yahan par wo baat nahi ho rahi hai na we are not saying that you are supposed to stay focused for a few days 
we are not even saying that you have to stay focused for a few months. We are saying that you have to stay focused for four years. Char saal. Ye kitne logo se ho pata hai. Wo si ye bante hai. First attempt, they clear the examinations. Koi bhi dikkate baad mein wo barabar uske upar hal nikal lete hai. My uh, very, now I should say close friend. At one point of time, he was my student. Mahadev naam tha uska. Wo rural part se aaya tha. Bilkul English nahi aata tha usko. Wo bala, humare school mein to English bhi marathi mein sikaya tha hume. Ab ye kaise kaam kiya, us teacher ne malum nahi bhai. English unko marathi mein sikaya tha. So he said, I don't know a word of English. I can't speak whatever. More than half of your lecture, I don't understand. To main to vapis ja raha hum. CA nahi kar raha hum main. Then I told him, wait, just, मैं कुछ आपको बातें बताता हूँ, ये करो और तीन महीने रुको सिर्फ, तीन महीने के बाद अगर आपको लगा ना कि English week होने की वजह से मैं छोड़ रहा हूँ कोर्स, I will accept it. So he continued with the batch for three months, but he was so sincere that whatever I had told him, he did all of that obedience. कल हमने जो डिस्कस किया ना, obediently. तीन महीने बाद खुद मेरे पास आया बोला नहीं सर आपको ये छोड़ना Within three months, if my language has improved so much, then sir, वो मुझे बोल रहा है, sir, imagine what will happen after four years. हो गया CA, practice कर रहा है. Semi-rural part में बड़े-बड़े sugar के practice होते हैं ना? Sugar, sugar factories जो होती है. हेलो 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 सो देना शुगर फैक्ट्रीज बिग वंस उनकी ऑडिट्स लेता है वो ओवर देर ही हैज टू स्पीक मराठी आल्सो and he is now excellent in English as well as Marathi. So he is a practicing CA earning into millions. So, ek shabda yet na hotare English tha when he came into CA foundation. Typical rural part se aane wala bachcha. Us din koi agar usko dekhta tha na, to sach mein bolta tha, bhai tu CA vagara chhoad de, become ho saka to dekh le. At the most. But he is a chartered accountant now. Doing excellent practice. इतनी बड़ी फर्म हो गई अब दो तीन पार्टनर ले लिए उसने अकेले से काम नहीं मैनेज होता उसका इमेजिन माय पॉइंट इज सिंपल दैट मेरा इंग्लिश अच्छा नहीं है या मुझे फिल्में देखने का शौक है ये वो ऑल ऑफ दिस दीज आर ऑल डिस्ट्रैक्शंस एंड डिफिकल्टीज यू कैन इजीली टेक केयर ऑफ देम इग्नोर देम अगर मल्टीप्लेक्स सामने है और बार बार, बार मूवी देखने का मन करता है तो बम लगा कि उड़ाओगे उड़ाओगे तो नहीं उसको वो तो टेररिज्म के लिए पकड़े जाओगे आप दैट्स द वर्स so don't do that. Hello, hello. So, some microphone related trouble today. All those who are sitting at home, please understand.
जिसकी वजह से थोड़ा सा इंटरप्शन आ रहा है बट लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द फ्लो सो माई पॉइंट इज वेरी सिंपल हियर टू कंक्लूड आई वॉज सेंग दैट देर इज नो हेलो हेलो ओके सो नो नीड टू बी स्केर्ड ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स नो नीड टू रन अवे फ्रॉम देम यू कैन टैकल देम स्टे फोकस्ड ये जरूरी है एंड एब्सोल्युटली इन द कंक्लूजन ऑफ दैट आई एम लास्टली गोइंग टू से कि इस पूरे स्पीच में जो पिछले लेक्चर से चल रहा है आपने देखा ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू अगेन आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन जस्ट टू सी हाउ ऑब्जर्वेंट यू वेर कितने सतर्क थे आप क्वेश्चन इज did i in all these points did i ever say that you need high level of intelligence to clear ca course yes or no ek awaaz mein no you are right i never said that in 31 years of looking at students who are doing ca 31 saal se main aise hi students ko ca karte hue dekh raha hu i have seen numerous cases where a person seriously was not intelligent but he became a chartered accountant I have seen cases where a person was extremely intelligent and did not become a chartered accountant. कैसे? Because intelligence probably does not have much to do with it. Intelligence अगर आप में बहुत ढेर सारा कूट कूट के भरा हुआ है तो ठीक है दो चार परसेंट से उधर उधर एडवांटेज मिलेगा आपको यू विल मे बी यूल स्कोर अ लॉट मोर देन द पर्सन हु इज नॉट इंटेलिजेंट फर्क क्या पड़ता है दोनों सी ए तो पास करेंगे ना सो यू विल बोथ बिकम अ चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट maybe the intelligent fellow had to work for 2 hours a day and the less intelligent fellow had to work 3 hours a day to clear the same exams but how does that matter theek hai na chalega na so in case there is anyone in the class anyone sitting at home who feels that i am not highly intelligent so chinta nahi hai you could still become a chartered accountant just pay attention to the seven points that we have clearly illustrated with examples for you बस ये जरूरी है एंड दैट्स वेर आई कंक्लूड ऑन दैट फर्स्ट बिग डिस्कशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज बी क्विक क्विकली आस्क योर क्वेश्चन एंड आई एल एम्पलीफाई द क्वेश्चन फॉर दोज आर सिटिंग एट होम क्विकली हाँ There's a question about the story that I shared with you today. That uh, why did he say that the girl is still with you? Because he was saying that mentally that girl is still with you. वो physically तो गई उसके journey के लिए उसको start कर दिया उसने उसका सफर. लेकिन दिमाग से अगर आप देखा जाए तो दिमाग के अंदर वो ही अभी है. That means she is the distraction for you and that whole incident. लेकिन गुरु के दिमाग से वो जैसे ही वो चली गई ना physically वो दिमाग से भी चली गई. इसलिए कुछ सेकंड के लिए उसको तो स्टोरी याद भी नहीं आई वो इंसिडेंट दैट्स वाई हीट फॉर गॉटन सो दैट्स द पॉइंट इफ इन केस यू हैव जॉइन दिस बैच लिटरली टुडे इट सेल्फ देन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कांटेक्ट एनी ऑफ दी स्टूडेंट्स हु डिड द लास्ट लेक्चर सो दैट दे टेल यू व्हाट दोज सेवन पॉइंट्स वेयर और इन द रिकॉर्डेड फॉर्म 
you should view the lecture again yesterday's lecture so that you will understand what are those seven points these seven points believe me they are going to help you not just in ca foundation but those seven points will be the boat the ship which will take you across the entire ocean of chartered accountancy foundation intermediate and final aise sat point hai wo ki wo har ek ca exam mein zaruri hai follow karo unko that is the whole point anyway since there are no further questions today as promised we are going to come now closer and closer to our first topic to aaj hum discuss karne wale hai ab question paper format what kind of question paper you are going to get in business economics in may 2024 aaj hi discuss karte hai और उस क्वेश्चन पेपर फॉर्मेट को दिमाग में रखते हुए एक एक करके टॉपिक हम स्टडी करेंगे आई थिंक दैट इज द बेस्ट फोकस्ड थिंग दैट वी कैन डू इवन इन टर्म्स ऑफ टीचिंग एंड लर्निंग ओके सो क्वेश्चन पेपर फॉर्मेट इफ जनरली स्पीकिंग यू आस्क मी इट्स सिंपल बिकॉज ऑल द क्वेश्चन आर मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन इन बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स अ क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट दे गिव यू फोर ऑप्शन four options you have to select the best option if you do not select any option you will get zero marks if you select the right option you get one mark per question if you select the wrong one then 0.25 deducted negative marking hai toss of a coin nahi kar so you can't do toss of a coin take a chance nahi 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 negative ke upar negative mark agar aapke question paper mein gather hote gaye answers mein to pura score down ho jayega so you need to really know every topic every concept properly then only you can attempt okay at least जो इंस्टीट्यूट ने बताया गया फॉर्मेट है वो मैं पहले बता रहा हूं आपको द इंस्टीट्यूट इज सेइंग दैट वी विल आस्क यू 60 मार्क्स वर्थ ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड 40 मार्क्स ऑफ बिजनेस एंड कमर्शियल नॉलेज बीसीके नाम का एक सब्जेक्ट इंस्टीट्यूट ने क्रिएट किया है जरा इकोनॉमिक्स से मिलता जुलता ही है इसलिए इकोनॉमिक्स से साथ रखा है उसको बट दैट सब्जेक्ट गोज मोर इन ओके थोड़ा सा इकोनॉमिक्स उसमें है बट मोर इनटू मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज एज वेल एज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ जनरल अवेयरनेस अबाउट इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर उसमें वो सब्जेक्ट ज्यादा घुसता है सो दैट्स अ सेपरेट सब्जेक्ट फोर्टी मार्क्स एंड बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक सिक्सटी मार्क्स दैट इज द फॉर्मेट दैट द इंस्टीट्यूट हैज डिक्लेयर लेकिन इंस्टीट्यूट आईसी कैसा आप जानते हो ना दे लव टू स्प्रिंग अ सरप्राइज ऑन यू सरप्राइज के ऊपर सरप्राइज देना उनको बहुत पसंद है तो इंस्टीट्यूट क्या करती है Sometimes they are giving the question paper exactly in sixty forty format. Then suddenly in one question paper they did it seventy thirty. In one paper it was sixty five economics and thirty five BCK. So ऐसे अलग अलग एक तो paper आया था believe me eighty four marks of economics and sixteen marks of BCK only. ऐसा भी एक paper हुआ था. और ऐसा पेपर आने के बाद फिर से 60 40 भी आता है कोई पेपर सो दैट 60 फोर्टी इज अ फॉर्मेट दैट वी शुड टेक जस्ट एज अ गाइडलाइन लेट्स नॉट फोकस ऑन इट एंड से कि ऐसा ही होगा इन केस द चेंज द फॉर्मेट यूजुअली दे हैव इंक्रीज द इकोनॉमिक्स क्वेश्चंस रादर देन द बीसी के क्वेश्चन दैट वी ऑलरेडी नो बिकॉज दे हैव डन दैट ऑन अ फ्यू ऑकेजन सो यू विल से ठीक है ना सर मतलब आ गया फॉर्मेट दिमाग में आ गया नहीं I have done something more for you. I have done a lot of research on this issue to come up with a classification of those MCQs. MCQs ka classification. That means we are going to look at types of MCQs that can be possibly asked. Types of MCQs and. when we look at the types of mcqs i think 
you will get a fair idea about what kind of MCQs we can expect in the actual paper. Types of MCQs, ye discussion aapko na module mein milega, na kisi bhi market ke textbook mein milega, ye maine kiya hua hai aapke liye. I have done all the research of previous question papers. I have done the research of other institutions also where similar questions are asked. और मैंने पूरा देखा कि भाई कुछ टाइप होते हैं एमसीक्यूज के और इन्हीं में से कुछ पूछना पड़ेगा तो आज का टॉपिक ही समझ लो इसको द टोट द कंप्लीट टाइटल दैट यू शुड राइट इन योर नोटबुक शुड बी टाइप्स ऑफ एमसीक्यूज इन बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स ऐसा टाइटल रखो लंबा टाइटल टाइप्स ऑफ एमसीक्यूज इन बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स इंस्टीट्यूट भी कैसी चालक होती है चार पांच क्वेश्चन इतने सिंपल पूछते हैं कि आपने एक स्टडी नहीं किया तो भी आंसर मिलेगा आपको लेकिन उससे क्या होता है पांच मार्क ही तो मिलेंगे इन इकोनॉमिक्स आई एम सिंग पासिंग की अभी चिंता मत करो एग्रीगेट का पहले सोचो पासिंग के आगे तो चले जाओगे ये मेरा भरोसा है आपको पक्का Anyway, 14 is passing, but that's not the point. So, just a few marks you will get without studies also, but you will fail in the paper. Plus, your aggregate goes down. It's the remaining 55 questions, whatever 55, 54 questions, where they make it tough. Tough kaise karte? Alag alag use, alag alag totally alag alag ideas use karke. Some questions are made tough by using slightly difficult English. मतलब वो क्वेश्चन सिंपल होता है लेकिन ऐसे लंबे कॉम्प्लेक्स सेंटेंस के साथ पूछा जाता है तो जो इंग्लिश में वीक है वो गड़बड़ हो जाती है उनकी So one of the ways in which they can make it tough is by just using complicated language. But I'll tell you a more common trick that they use. Four options are there, So sometimes, if it's the simple MCQ, three options are horrible. One is good. So select karna asan ho jata hai aapke liye. Sometimes they give you two correct options. Sometimes they give you three correct options. And if they want to make it really tough, they give you four correct options. Four correct answer hote hai. Ata bola. Kya karoge? Will you complain ki sir, aap institute ki galti hoge, printing mistake hai? Nahi. Jaan bujh ke kiya hai. Why? Kya karenge? Exactly. You have to choose the best out of the four. To dimaag laga kar utna karte hai. That out of the four correct options, one would be the best for that particular question. So not just that you should be knowledgeable, लेकिन आपका knowledge इतना accurate होना चाहिए कि चार correct option भी सामने रखे, तो उसमें से आपको ढूंढना आसान होना चाहिए कि भई ये सबसे अच्छा है, चार में से. That is the tough part. Anyway, let's look at the classification first. अब मैंने research किया है तो उनके जो भी नाम title रखे वो मैंने ही रखे, and I think those titles are illustrative enough. So first, there are MCQs which are based on conceptual clarity first type mcqs based on conceptual clarity iska matlab hua understanding the subject is very important sirf by heart karke ye sawal aapko jawab nahi milega you need to understand. That's the difference between the typical Latour pattern that people tell me about and the ICAI's examinations. If you do not understand, you cannot crack. So even in class, when you're sitting here and I start the first topic, first topic onwards, tell your mind, tell your brain that I have to understand first. Kya bhai hurting bhi karna padega? Karna padega na baad mein. Baad mein karenge, pehle nahi. 
there are a certain few things which need to be by hearted but we can do that later first comes understanding because these questions are important okay la just last few minutes now because i have studied the past question papers i can tell you tentatively ye koi rule ya regulation mat pakadna because institute can change these uh, guidelines any time they want unka koi bharosa nahi hai conceptual clarity how many questions are asked out of 60 assuming that you are asked 60 questions in economics at least 20 to 25 is range mein pakad lo aap 60 mein se 20 se 25 is pehle hi type ke hone wale hai so that's a significant percentage of marks percentage calculate karo pata chalega aapko so conceptual clarity questions very important because they can give you somewhere between 20 to 25% marks second type discuss karte hain for today i think we have had enough after that second students not me students are telling me that sir that second type is the toughest one to solve mcqs based on application of knowledge in real life situations application of knowledge in real life situation students find this very difficult to solve why because in all the previous examinations that you have given ye karna hi nahi pada tha aapko knowledge to hai in a real life situation usko apply karke wo situation ya problem jo bhi hai solve karo ye kab pucha tha aapko वो टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड के प्रैक्टिकल्स वो तो छोड़ दो हमको पता है आप कैसे करते हो वो टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड के प्रैक्टिकल्स इन वन और टू स्कूल्स दे आर टेकन सीरियसली इन ऑल द रेस्ट इन मेनी स्कूल्स आई हैव सीन दिस दैट इज अ लॉट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट केमिस्ट्री के लैब में जाते हो आप लॉट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट एंड द टीचर हिमसेल्फ टेल्स यू वो दैट वो कोई इक्विपमेंट काम नहीं करता वो दिखावे का है बीच में एक टेबल पर रखा है वो एक इक्विपमेंट काम करता है एंड हु इज देर द टीचर स्टैंड देर He conducts the practical. वो सारे केमिकल मिक्स कर रहा है वो इधर फ्लेम लगाना ये इधर से पानी डालना सब वही करता है एंड यू पीपल आर जस्ट स्टैंडिंग अराउंड हिम एंड वॉचिंग एंड वॉट एवर यू वॉच यू आर सपोज राइट इन अ जर्नल ये खाक एप्लीकेशन है ह्योर यू विल हैव टू एक्चुअली अप्लाई दैट नॉलेज इन द रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन दैट स्टफ इफ अ क्वेश्चन कम्स अप फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर द गवर्नर ऑफ आर बी आई अरे वही पसीने छूटेंगे आपके है गपकन गोड़ा ना पोटात यू आर द गवर्नर ऑफ आर बी आई एंड देन दिव यू सिचुएशन इफ इंडिया इज इन दिस सिचुएशन इन्फ्लेशन ऐसा है और इन्वेस्टमेंट की सिचुएशन ये है तो आप इस चीज का क्या करोगे चार ऑप्शन तो देने वाले हैं और ऑप्शन विल बी देयर बट अनलेस यू नो हाउ टू अप्लाई दिस नॉलेज हाउ कैन यू सिलेक्ट द बेस्ट ऑप्शन आउट ऑफ इट दोज टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई एम से एक एग्जाम्पल दिया आपको those types of questions are called as mcqs based on application of knowledge in real life situations aur aisa bhi nahi ki ek do aayenge andaza batau application wale kitne aate hai kam se kam ek range pakad pakad lo aap between 10 to 15 is type ke aate hai second type ke to pehla tha 20 se lekar 25 tak aur ye 10 se lekar 15 tak to samajh lo ye aate hai application wale that means you must know the application of various topics that's why don't worry when i teach the topic jahan jahan pe application of knowledge ki zarurat padti hai aur us par question aa sakta hai us har ek topic mein main application batane wala hu aapko yahan class mein so just conceptual clarity de di ki topic khatam hoga aisa nahi karenge there are certain topics where i'll have to tell you look marginal cost ka aisa application kiya jata hai marginal product ka jab sheet aata hai to wo manager aise usko use karta hai that's the application उसका यूज बताना वो करते करते हम आगे बढ़ेंगे